What's going on guys? This is Empty Box and this is more Tribes Ascend Closed Beta. And, uh, I'm gonna explain a little bit about this game, what it is, why you should be paying attention to it if you're not. And uh actually got some beta keys to give away. I got two of those. Uh let's just start right there. This game is in closed beta right now. It will be going to open beta at some point before it quote unquote releases. And basically what that means is right now you have to have an invite to be able to play or you have to buy the game. And uh, I bought the game even though it's going to be a free to play shooter. So when this game actually does release it will be free to play. But looking through what is in there now uh, let me just say that it doesn't look like it's going to be one of those pay to win free to play games. Because those games, those games suck and quite frankly the pay to win thing has ruined the idea. But... Well, I guess it's actually probably worked better for free-to-play because that just makes everybody want to buy stuff so that way they can they can win. I, whatever. It's neither here nor there and not the topic of the video. But uh, this game is pretty amazing. But uh, let me just say that. and You should definitely be uh, paying attention to this one. But uh, anyways, if you want to win in one of those beta keys, this is a PC-exclusive uh pretty much exactly that it's a PC exclusive this is an old school type of a uh, shooter um, I mean it's not uh, before someone says oh it looks like Halo I'm pretty sure uh, Tribes has been around longer than Halo I didn't play Tribes or Tribes 2 or whatever they were but uh, I'm pretty dang sure they are much older I mean so just saying but one of the things that makes it unique is, uh, yeah. But anyways, going back to uh, the beta and what I was talking about there, and uh, I totally dropped my flag because I got blowed up and I didn't even notice it because I didn't see that thing on my screen and I didn't even know you could do that. I'm a complete noob in this game. I was just trying stuff out in this game just to see what works and what doesn't work, so bear with it. Anyways. Right now it's closed beta. It'll be going to open beta at some point, which means anyone can play it. And then it should be going to release, which, again, anyone can play it. Uh, during the closed beta and the open beta, what is said on their FAQ on their website is that the experience will actually carry over. And I just totally got pooped on right there. And my head went flying. But the experience and everything you unlock will actually carry over into the full game once that's released. It's going to persist, which is uh, kind of interesting. That's definitely uh, kind of unique, I think. Usually games don't really do that. And there's probably a reason, but again, I don't think this is going to be a game where it's you know, really all that super mega important or anything. But that's that. But the beta keys, if you want to get a beta key, I get, I'm going to be giving away two of them. And uh, just post something up that you want one, you know, and post something funny, you know, it's not going to be first come first serve, you know, so, make me want to give you the keys, okay, <laughs> there we go, is he seemingly experimenting with self-propulsion, I know you can do it, I've just had, never had any luck with uh, using the spin fuser here, but, to fling myself faster. Anyways, on to more about the game and what the game is and what it is. Because, quite frankly, if you're w looking at this, you're probably not even s noticing half the stuff going on unless you actually play this game. But basically, you see on the sides of my screens, those uh, little meters, those are like my speed meters, for lack of a better term. And basically what there is in this game is, instead of running around the map and jumping, you have skiing which is basically what I'm doing when I got the meters up and I'm going across the ground you know traveling at pretty decent speeds decent speeds for a noob a good player can really zip around the map let me tell you it's, it's a thing of beauty you know, when skiing is done correctly but what that is is basically you move across the ground without momentum it's exactly what it sounds like you're skiing and when you go down a hill you go really fast when you go up a hill you slow down which basically means you need to go down one side up another and kind of float around the map get that speed going up really high 
That's why you start up way up in the sky. That way you can launch off, get some serious speed going. And just, uh... Get your speed going. Everybody likes speed. So that's what that is. It's definitely a unique... Unique, uh... Mechanic to tribes, I guess I should say. I've never seen it anywhere else. It's... It really does change the map. I think this is probably my favorite map in the beta that I've played right now because there's just so much terrain to work off of and it just really changes everything especially combat because if you stop moving you're pretty much an easy target I mean you're playing against people who you know are shooting these discs here with the spin fuser and shooting people out of the sky as they're flying at like 500 miles an hour I mean an easy target is <laughs> an easy target is a still target so except for me I can't help people stand still in this game. <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing, I know. But the skiing is definitely a big thing. It's not nearly as easy as it looks. I know before I even, you know, got the beta, I was watching some videos of this because that's kind of like, either this game is the most awesomest game I've ever seen or it's quite possibly the lamest game. And it turns out that it's actually pretty dang fun. And whiff! But, uh... It's not easy at all. <laughs> because, to put it in perspective, you're basically doing three things at once, especially in combat. You know, you're trying to ski and keep your speed up so that way you don't run out of speed. You're trying to, you know, use your jetpack, which is how you jump in this game, or how you fly or float for when you need to, you know, fly further to land on the correct side of the hill so that way you keep your speed up. But, I mean, you only have a limited amount of energy, it's not unlimited or anything. So, you know, it requires a lot of strategy, a lot of map knowledge, and a good player is definitely going to stand out in this game rather than, uh, you know, a single individual who, you know, like me, sucks at this game. So, definitely skill based, definitely. Um, it is, as far as I know, I know there is a team deathmatch, there is capture the flag, which is what you see here, and then there's a mode called the Rabbit. I haven't played Rabbit, I haven't played Team Deathmatch, because quite frankly, I want to play the Capture the Flag in this game. This is a great Capture the Flag type game, and uh, that's pretty much that. But obviously being Capture the Flag, two teams, they have their bases. Uh, yeah, look at that. That was just awesome. I was like, whoa, that's cool. Pretty much every kill in this game, by the way, is awesome. Just leaves you so satisfied when you shoot someone and you actually get a kill in this game. Anyways, two teams, two bases, obviously. Each base has basically orbital strike right in my face, but <laughs> each base has their you know defenses, their turrets out front. Those can be disabled. Uh, obviously for something like that you're gonna want a heavy class. I'm playing the light class, which, I mean, obviously it's a lighter, faster version. It has a this little spin fuser thing, it's basically a disc gun that launches explosive discs. And, uh, that's that. But, you know, it's the fastest class. It's good for flag capturing, flag running. And honestly, I probably should have stuck with the medium class, which is the one I was using in the first part, seeing how we are up and I'm playing a little bit further towards our base, just trying to keep them off our flag and get the win here. But I do prefer the medium class just because it's easier to play. However, you know, the light class, from what I've heard and, you know, seen, if a good player is using the light class, I mean, and running flags, you're not going to ever get them without <laughs> using the light class yourself and, you know, getting the same speed because, obviously, the classes have different speeds as far as I know because I'm pretty sure I've gone much faster with the light class than with the medium class. But, but anyways, back to the base defenses. You know, they will rip you to shreds as you saw me get, you know, blowed up, I think, two or three times already this video by them. Obviously, there's the generator, and that shuts down all the defenses basically instantly. It doesn't take that much to destroy, as you saw in the first part. I was just in there with the medium class, you know, firing grenades from my thumper at it. And, uh, it just took it down really quickly. That said, if you have a team with technicians who are basically like engineers, they you know, build build and repair stuff. 
you know, if you have them building up defenses and everything, they can, you know, change the course of the battle. I haven't played engineer yet or technician because I'm really not interested in defense. I want to do the fun stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, about the weapons, just so that way you can get an idea of what this is. You know, basically every game, every weapon in this game has travel time. It has drop, as you can see, where I shoot is not where my discs are going. And there's also seemingly a slight delay between when you actually click to shoot and when you actually get your disc shot out. Which, I mean, when you consider the fact that people are going, you know, usually at least 100 miles an hour or so, or 100 kilometers an hour, 100 units an hour, whatever it is, it quickly becomes very, very difficult to hit people. <laughs> and you have to actually know what you're doing to hit people. Uh, of course, I don't know what I'm doing because I absolutely suck at this game, but it's a challenge. That's why I want to play it. That's why I want to get better at it. Because it is that fun, and it does offer a challenge. And I'm always down for a challenge. And right here, I was just like, oh, I think I'm being shot. I don't have a clue what's going on. What's I'm, I was totally lost. But it is not easy, <laughs> really, at all. But it is just tremendously fun. And, you know, it's not one of those games with like a, you know, a Battlefield or a Call of Duty where you die, you know, pretty quickly. And, you know, you're off and left. How did I die? What the? How? What? Uh, cheap. That, what, that makes no sense. You know, in this game, you definitely know you're when you die. I mean, I don't think it's even possible to get, like, one shot killed by anything, except for maybe getting spin fusered out of midair, which I think might work, but I, mean, I don't know. I'm not that good, so I haven't done that yet, but but I mean, you're going to know it when you're going to die, and you have plenty of time to react and try to, uh, you know, turn the tides of the war, you know, the little mini battle, so which, you know, does kind of make it a little bit easier for the newer players, like myself, and like, you know whoever else is starting this. That said, it's not, uh, it's also a double-edged sword in that a good player is definitely going to stand out because, I mean, it takes so long to kill people. And I think you've probably seen a time or two in this game already where I've chased a guy around the map for, you know, 15, 20 seconds just focusing on him, trying to kill him because, it, you know, it takes that long. But it's just fun, fun to play. The skiing is just amazing. It completely changes, you know, the way you look at a map. And it's just fun. It's a challenge, and at the same time, it's very fun. So, uh, yeah, if you want one of those beta keys, one of those two beta keys, I'm giving away. Post something funny in the comments section. Post something serious. Uh, big. Be like, oh, my, my kitty cat was run over by a dump truck. Uh, I just want to play video games and shoot people because of it. Hi, right, bye.